Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more EU for the Third Realm playing as Moravia. Killed to bear Stan. Killed Cannon Born. What was their name? I've already forgotten their name. That's how unimportant they were to me. Can I kill Congo yet? No, not until 1771. Oh, okay. Can't kill Kilwa for another three years. Portugal, Mexico, Yemen is safe for the time being. So my options are somewhat limited. I can start pushing against Oirat now. Or I could kill Kashmir, but I'm thinking I might want to save Kashmir. Because if I am correct... Wait, wait, is it done? Wait, did it get done ahead of time and no one told me? Did I miss an event? Why is it done? I think the Suez Canal is done, everybody, and no one told me. No one, no, no one told me! Okay, Kashmir has no friends. Easy target, let's go kill them real quick and give them off to, I don't know, Tyrol or Austria or somebody. It's gonna take me all of, like, five seconds. So, hi, how you doing? Oh, good, more rebels are dead. Nice! That's what I like to see. Still in the process of annexing Britain and Castile. Moravian, Canadian, 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 Canadian. Revolutionaries. They keep trying to fire the revolution in Canada. It almost is as if the game thinks that Canada is supposed to be this great, enlightened, peaceful nation where everyone's friendly and treats you incredibly well. And they have, like, no discrimination or anything. It's almost as if the game thinks that that's what Canada is. How silly of them. Imperialism. No, for real, I love Canada. I had a great time in Canada. I've mentioned this before, and I stand by it. Canada was incredibly nice for me and my wife when we had our honeymoon in Banff. That was gorgeous, as she will happily tell you. All right, Kashmir, we're going to finish you off real quick. It's not going to take me too long. I might actually want to hand oh, a couple of provinces off to a few people. Hang on, I need to get some troops over here to kill these Yizdi heretics. Whatever the heck that is. Don't ask me, I have no idea. Anyway, we may want to hand off a province to Tyrol and Austria or something like that and see if we can give out some more freedom, coring distance-wise. Because if I can, then yeah, that's actually a pretty good option for me to start killing bits of India. Feed that off to my client states before I form the Holy Roman Empire in a few years? That could be fun, assuming that I actually do that. Okay, we finished the sieges, and there goes all of my personal cores. Nice! Can I give this to Austria? This is the question. Yes, I totally freaking can. All right, the Suez Canal has changed everything. I'm just really mad that I missed the pop-up. I assume I got a pop-up. I assume. I guess I don't actually know. But I, I still assume. All right, hand all that off. And Kashmir is dead. Go ahead and revoke some cores. I don't know why. Prestige reasons. Doesn't actually matter. I mean, technically I could vassalize these guys and feed them a crap ton of land, but let's be honest, I have free client states that I can feed instead. Do I care if it's cheap? No, because then I have to diplomatically annex these guys. I don't get them for free. So it's still better to just go ahead and do this. Enjoy the free prestige. Goodbye. Boom. All right. Tyrol and Austria are now imperial powers working their way over Mia. That is excellent for me. Good news. Good news, everyone. No, that was not supposed to be a professor reference from uh, Futurama. It was supposed to be a reference to Professor Putricide in uh, World of Warcraft, the Frozen Throne, or Wrath of the Lich King, I suppose, in Ice Crown Citadel. That's what I'm supposed to be referencing. Who is a parody of the professor from Futurama, which is why they sound very similar. Tech cost reduction. No! Do I need any tech for a while? Not for another 12 years, this lasts for 10 years, which means it's going to have absolutely no impact on me. Ha <laughs> ha! Suckers! I wasn't planning on advancing my civilization anyway. All right, we can now start giving off some land to the clergy again, because we've reached that point where I think plenty of influence is about to expire. In fact, it already might have. Uh, no, it is, it is just about to, though. We are literally weeks away. Okay, um, what should I give land off to, then? Let's take a look at my... States. Uh, let's see. Give this off to the clergy. This off to the clergy. This off to the clergy. I'm just trying to shut them up, okay? I don't really care if it's that ideal. This off. No, that's gold. I'm going to keep the gold. Copper? Sure, why not? 13.2. 14.5. 
See if we can find something a little bit smaller. Man, I really have a lot of development here, don't I? There we go. That'll be fine. That's what happens when you spend so much of your power just building up all of your uh, development. Works really well, it turns out. All right, let's go kill them. Wurtenbergian peasants. Ming has influenced Jarkand. I think the Wurtenbergian peasants are already dead. Good. Looking fine down here. Good. Looking all right over here. Good. Good. A lot of unrest in this one province. 20 unrest! Trying to convert the Copts. Turning out to be a very uh, difficult endeavor, eh? But look at that Catholic faith, man. You gotta admit, there's something beautiful about that. All right, so I think we have enough troops nearby to at least hold off jean Poor until the vassals have arrived. We can start making some serious pushes against Oirat. That should be fine. So, let's see. Now, you are a tributary of Ming. Ooh, that's interesting. I'd have to fight uh, Ming if I did that. Whereas, if I attacked jean Poor, I'd have to fight Pasai, Orissa. No, Orissa wouldn't join. Malwa and Oirat. Oirat, yes. Malwa is a tiny nation. Pasai is this guy. Interesting. Will be an opportunity to take some of their colonies. Or do I want to take the risk of fighting Ming? Ming is way bigger than I think I was ready to handle at the moment. I think I'm not going to bother with Ming until I'm the HRE and I'm able to actually like get all my troops together in one big area. Because I can't control half of my army. Is it worth doing this instead though? It is a good question. It probably is, let's be honest. As long as these guys get over here and I can hold a front line, I think we'll be okay. Alternatively, don't fight them, go fight the US. But I, th I, think, I think we fight these guys. I think we do. The question now is, can I co-belligerize anybody? You're allied to Siak, which is this guy. If I wanted to fight them as well, that's a bit... Eh, nah, that's just too much. That's too much. It's not worth it. Not worth it. Not worth it, man. We're going to kill Jean Poor. And we are going to declare imperialism. We'll have to fight Pasai, Malwa, and Oirat. So one extra guy and an inconsequential vassal. Imperialism! There we go. All right, let's get ready for the fightsies. Take a super combat general. Send him down to this fort. Send you here. Send you here. Um, we're going to have to push into Oirat. Have they joined? Not yet, but they will in a moment. You still need to kill them, so go do that and then come home or to the front. Vassals, I'm going to need your I'm going to need all hands on deck for this one. Let's go ahead and get these guys up here. This is going to be a much larger fight than I had originally intended. Not that that's a bad thing, probably still okay. As long as we keep making progress on uh, Great Britain, by the way. No, see, once again, we stop making progress on our vassals. What the crap? Clergy political struggle. Um, I'm going to make them lose influence, because that's easy, turns out. Yeah, apparently going to war means I'm not allowed to start annexing these guys anymore, and I'm not sure why, because as far as I can tell, I ought to be able to. This is really bizarre to me. I'm still working on Castile. It's just Britain. Britain's the exception to the rule. Do you know how bizarre that is? It's not like I don't have enough Diplo power. That's fine. Hey, do you have a lot of level 2 forts? Oh, thank God, you have nothing but level 2 forts. Well, that makes this a heck of a lot easier. Don't you know? I'm gonna take you. I'm gonna work on this fort. I'm gonna take you. And, I don't know. Push forward as a vanguard. I don't care. And do I have more troops? No, that's it for the time being. All right, let's kill these separatists. They're dead. Start moving over this away to this fort. And there we go. Should be able to start sieging down a lot of peoples. So this is what we're fighting. It looks more intimidating than it is. Oh, look, Mongolia. They are a vassal of Oirat. So that's another person I hadn't anticipated on fighting. But okay. Yeah, sure. Why not? I, uh, I don't see anything wrong with that, really. Okay, we were able to deal with that. Let's go unsiege them real quick. That's This is where a lot of trouble is going to come up in a little bit. When the Cannon Bornu Separatists decide to fire, that's going to be a lot of people that I have to kill. A lot of people. Otherwise, the colonies are still coming along A-OK. -okay. Still no sign of their armies, though I know it exists. Yeah, that's a lot of men. 
Yeah, that's a lot. 197,000 interest uh, infantry and another 100,000 cannons. Um, if they if they decided to if they decided to go death ball strategy, they can do some serious damage. Absolutely. We're going to need to have those vassals before I go too far. It would be good to get some forts together. That would make things a lot easier. Let's go ahead and get you up here. Can I go here? I can go to row. Might be a little bit too far forward. Go up here instead. I'm going to keep these guys relatively close by. I see 23,000. This is Malwa. How does Malwa, a four-province miner, have 23,000 troops? That's not what I expected. Oh, hi. Okay, looks like we're going to kill you on the way. It's fine. That's easy enough. All right, we siege that back. Get up here. Get reinforcements near each other, because I'm worried they're going to jump on them. Lots of unrest. Lots and lots. 60,000 now. Okay, that's a lot scarier. We're so close to getting this fort, though. New Great Britain. That sounds like uh, Alaska. It totally is. New Great Britain is a colony up here. Well, that's awkward. I am currently in the process of annexing the Britain, which, by the way, is making some progress. It's just remarkably slow. Yeah, 60,000 troops is a lot, man. Okay, there goes Bukhara. That was good. Um... I'm going to keep these two armies up here, and we're just going to keep pushing forward a little bit. You, I probably want to have come down this direction. Keep the armies close. Okay, he's in a desert, and I've got a lot of reinforcements in a position to kill him. So let's see if I can get three armies put together. What's your tech level? 25 compared to my 28. So I have a huge advantage there at the very least. That is pretty good. Turnates will renounce their claims on Madura. Looks like Siak is taking them on. Quetta, okay, that's another fort down. That's a wasteland. Ooh, hello, 45,000 more. They're probably going to want to reinforce this army, but in the meantime, let's back them off, because they're outnumbered. Okay, we're about to get in position. Oh, you can't actually do that. That's fine. Uh, crush them? Siak has the Enlightenment. You're chasing me. Ladakh declared war on the Sam. Peasants. Mm, I don't really have anyone nearby ready to deal with that right now. Oh, can we stack wipe? Oh, we can stack wipe. Okay, I'm not nearly as scared of you anymore. Oh, I feel emboldened. Okay, go here. Go to row. Or at least stick somewhat nearby. Turns out, these guys can be killed. They can be beaten. Easily. Because I just stack wiped a huge chunk of them. Whoop! Okay, are you locked? He's now locked. Okay, let's get some reinforcements in position. We are going to be in the mountains. He's going to have the defensive terrain. Not ideal under any circumstances, but hey. Uh, looks like he's about to walk into another stack wipe! Ha 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 ha! Not my best evil laugh, but uh, it is nice to see the vermin fall. All right. Oi, rats, do you have a lot of forts? You got a few over here. We do need to be pushing a bit further east. Bukhara, are you a vassal under anyone? No. Okay, so don't have to worry about you. Um, start pushing this way. What's your tech level? 23? Oh, screw Oi, rat. Go to their capital. Go take on their forts. This is going to be easy. 23. Ah! That's, that's so unbearably weak. Imperialism against Tierra Austral. Oh. Oh. Castile formed a new colonial nation down here in New Zealand. <laughs> well, that's interesting. Tierra Austral. Huh. Uh, okay. Sure. Why not? Let's get some reinforcements. Hello. You think you can get this fort back, do you? I think we are going to come and kill you. That sounds like another stack wipe. How many troops have they lost so far? Like 80,000? I mean, it's pretty big. That's a lot of men to lose very early on in the war. Hello, Separatists. Not what I had in mind, but okay, we'll just skirt around you. I need to get a general in charge. That's something I do need. Fortification effort for free for the rest of the game. Sure. I mean, it's not that I expect that to be useful, but if it ever is, I'm going to be glad that I had it. Okay, this is all fine. Hi, Malwa. What's your tech like? 27. They're actually competent. What about you? 26. 
I'm guessing that they've embraced the Enlightenment and Jean Poor hasn't. It's probably a big part of it, yeah. They're about to get this fort back, unfortunately, but eh, it's still only level two, so. That's okay. Let's get a general in charge. I will take you, and let's see if we can stack wipe him. Ah, you have fallen from my trap. And we did! Goodbye, another 60, no, 50,000 men dead. Okay, Cindy Separatists are unfortunate, but I'm not worried about them. Uh, we're working on row. Go here, go here. That's easy. Level 2 forts means this is going to be a stomp, honestly. I mean, what's he going to do? Come on. It's freaking level 2. I've got Napoleonic Warfare. The, the sheer number of bonuses that I'm getting are absurd. Fata. Done. Good. Okay. Bukharian Separatists are about to fire in this area. Good thing I have a lot of reinforcements on the way. You... Pushing this way. We, we need a vanguard. Where are you going? Okay, stop it. Come back here. We're, we're gonna we're gonna stomp you real quick. Both the guys turn around. Kill them. I didn't want to have to do that, Separatists. But you thought that I wasn't gonna pay attention. You could take the fort back. That was a mistake. Never try my patience, child. Never. I have no patience. I am prone to anger and lashing out. I lost progress on Great Britain just now. Didn't I? Wasn't it at 12.6 earlier? I feel like it was. I don't understand what's going on here. Whatever, we're actually very close to being done with Castile. Which will be nice. Looks like we are crushing Oirat. There we go. Corbdo. Sorry, Cobdo. Yes. Okay. Another per, uh, fort down. Walk around to the north. They're just going to do their best to avoid me, I have no doubt. Hi, Malwa. Can we get enough reinforcements in here to stop you? Doesn't appear so. Which is unfortunate. Uh, Wurttemberg. Mistakes were made, sir. Get up. Oh, gosh. There's no way to get up there. Kashmiri separatists up here? Kashmir was down here. You don't have cores up here, do you? Oh, my God. They do. What kind of freaking nation was Kashmir? They had cores in the weirdest of places, man. They had core down here, too. Man, I missed some action. They might have been a huge nation once upon a time. All right. Can you please put these guys down? Because I don't want to deal with them. Still can't get around up there, huh? Yeah, there's a wasteland in the way. Or something. We're going to need a lot more reinforcements. There we go. Austria took care of it. Thank you, Austria. Doing a good job there, man. I appreciate you. Have a cookie. Castile broke their alliance with Moravian Louisiana. The Papal State broke theirs with Moravian Louisiana. Looks like people are realizing that fighting against me is not going to work. So, that's good. Less disloyalty going on. Ooh, Moravian Columbia finally colonized some stuff and took over that wasteland again. Nice. These peasants are a problem, aren't they? Not much I can do about it at the moment, though. Okay. Okay. Still working on some forts. Afghan Separatists. Good timing. Let's kill them. That fort's done. Go here. Go here. At this point, I think Jampur is more or less routed. Oirat is going to be very easy to take down once we get a couple more forts. There's that. No, a general died. All right, we need to get a replacement. Hoping for something good. I have a hundred army tradition. That's a guaranteed extra pip right there. Are you kidding me? No, fire him. That's terrible. Try again. Okay, a 6323 is not amazing, but at the very least, I can work with it. Go here. Go here. All right, we have a lot of reinforcements now. That makes things pretty easy. Who is this, by the way? Ladakh. I'm not accustomed to seeing these guys here. Their color is throwing me off. Okay, Jean Poor loses more troops. Working on Oi Rats. Um. Curious when I'm going to be able to piece them out. Afghan Separatists are going to die shortly. There's a couple more conversions done. Reduces unrest. Squisha Squisha. And Bukharan Separatists. And Kanem Bornu. That's the one I was scared of. Well, hello. Let's get some reinforcements in there. Good. Okay, you go here. Nope, actually, you sit tight. You go here. 
All right, that should take care of a huge chunk of the unrest. Nice. And Yali, do me a favor and keep that door closed so I don't pick up the dishwasher sounds. Appreciate it, waifu. Thank you. Probably didn't actually pick that up in the mic, but you never know. Hard for me to tell at this point. Can I catch these guys? Sure as heck looks like I can, and it's all infantry. And I have cannons that'll shred you. All right, let's see if we can stack wipe them with just one army. Trading in cotton happened. Extra settlers. Will be useful once I have the rights of man. Go to their capital province. Wow, we're already pushing on their capital, eh? Oh, God, they had reinforcements. They had reinforcements! Um, okay. Force march, get down here. Stop. Force march, get down here. Did not expect 78,000 or more. We did manage to stack wipe it, though. Well, what do you freaking know? I think they just straight up gave up. Where are you going? It says they're coming to my... Oh, there they are. Okay, they were coming here. They were coming here. They were trying to reinforce. Well, we got troops on the way. Reinforcements. Here comes Brabant! And it wasn't quite a stack wipe because it took too long, but we did make some pretty solid progress. Okay, go to their capital. You go here. You go here. And we'll turn off the force march. No longer relevant. Appreciate it, though. That's another siege gone. Go down south. Wow, we are just crushing right now. These guys have no idea what to do. with The power that's been building in the west. I mean, come on. At this point, I control like half the world's population. Whoa. Oh, my empress died. Eh, that's fine. Not like I needed her for anything else. I mean, if there's anything I've learned from CK2, it's that women are expendable. Ah, uh, no. I don't want to say that. I might get demonetized. I uh, You... Y'all know that ain't true. It's not what I actually think. It's just CK2. It really brings out some of the weirdest things, you know? <laughs> it's historically accurate. That's kind of what's sad about the whole situation. But, yeah, still. All right, let's see if we can kill some of these guys. You're fine. Can't get around over there. You just come down here for now. Um, mm, I can already see right now, by the way. Provost quotes 2017. That's going to be a thing. You almost know it. But again, it's just CK2 brings out the craziest things. You should create like a Reddit that's like CK2 says the darndest things. You know, like the children say the darndest things, but it's going to be CK2. That's what it is. CK2 players. CK2 YouTubers. There you go. I guarantee you people like Quill18 and Arumba and stuff have said even worse things. Guarantee it. At some point. Uh, okay, they're coming for a big fight. Let's see if we can reinforce that. I think that's gonna be a stack wipe, actually, without my help. Yep, that was a stack wipe without my help. Wow. E-Z. Big conversion done. Did we convert Mecha just now? Is that what happened? No, they're still Sunni. Probably should consider doing that at some point. Uh, we don't need to improve with these guys anymore. What do we want to do? I'm just going to hold on to a couple of diplomats, to be honest. We're about to be done with uh, Castile. And it's going to be very interesting to see what does happen with a new colonial nation. I'm curious who it goes to by default. What changes? Okay, that's another big one. Uh, I'm going to take you. We're going to go kill them. I'm actually thinking about getting rid of this general. Two, three, four, uh, three is terrible. Okay, that's their capital done. Let's go there. Some solid progress. Reinforcements are doing a great job. Still sieging down all of Oirat. When are you going to want to give up? We've got 48 personal war score with you right now. That's pretty good. We could take a lot of land up here. You know? I mean, this is 97%. That is 61% uh, over extension, though. A little tough, but keep in mind I can feed jean Pour off to some people. So this is actually probably acceptable to me. Something like this. Huge push to the east. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. That's 100% though. So we're going to have to siege down all of Oirat and all of Mongolia to make that work. Which we probably can do given the fact that they have such inferior technology. Okay, we're going to go for that fort. Good. Uh, push on Mongolia's capital. Now, the problem here is these guys. I'm currently not in a good position to siege them down. Where's a transport navy? We got one right here. I'm going to go ahead and start preemptively moving you up a this a direction. 
fairly confident we're going to need you to make a siege. And you guys actually shouldn't still be here. Why don't you protect trade in Genoa or something? There we go. Forgot about them. Okay, making good progress. Vassals are doing what they do best. Or Separatists. All right. Let's contain them for now. You get over here. Okay, that's done. Mulwa, we need to kill you. Let's go for that fort. That's done. Good. Go here. Again, I'm, I'm sticking with my strategy where I primarily focus on forts and let my vassals do all the fun stuff. We actually don't need a general here. Boy Rat's easy. Push over. Go there. Yeah, my vassals can clean up all the small provinces. Let's just go for the big targets that get me war score. Oh, I forgot about this army right here. You know what? I probably don't need them. Let's go ahead and retrieve the general at least. We'll keep them down here in case I have some rebellions. This is actually going way easier than I thought it would, so... Yeah. Let's get a general in charge here. Go kill. A lot of reinforcements to do, but oh well. It was funny. Somebody pointed out, like I was saying, oh, I'm out of, uh, I'm almost out of manpower when I had like 100,000 left in the bank. Look, when you're used to having like 300,000, yeah, if you're down to 100,000, it's like, oh no, I'm making a horrible mistake. Something's wrong. I need more men. Nah, I'm fine. Is not a problem. Whoops. All right. This is the army I'm going to go ahead and use to infiltrate that new area. So let's get our transports up here. Oh, good news, of course, is I can use the Suez Canal. Yes, that makes our transportation way easier. Nice. Okay, Mongolia's capital is done. Let's see if we can kill them. They are low on morale for some reason. I wonder if they just embraced some tech and upgraded their troops. Worst come to worst, though, we can just crush them with a 6-6 general and instant stack wipe, I think. I think we just finished Castile. Integration is a slow process. I have become tolerant. Tolerance of heretics and heathens goes up. Nice. Castile has been annexed. Colonialism against Tierra Astral. It looks like it does retain. Uh, interesting. Colonial Louisiana is now mine. Colonial Mexico is now mine. Awesome. It looks like, uh, yes, we do retain that colonial nation. It does not join, which is what I expected. So, yeah, whole new one. That's going to get a little awkward when I have to hand land off. For example, instead of if I take this, I wonder if it automatically goes to Austral, like the French one or the Spanish one. I'm going to have to personally make sure that it goes to the right people now. Inconvenient. Not a fan. Wait. This is ter Okay, yes, this one. Yeah, really really awkward. Not uh not not really thrilled about that. You're going to be able to siege this down, please. Take it. Hmm. Okay, I actually don't like this. The Spanish The Spanish took some rather inconvenient provinces. They shouldn't have done that. What I'm going to have to do now is feed the rest of these off to the Spanish one so they get half the continent and fill in the wasteland so it doesn't look silly. Yeah, weird. Weird, weird, weird. Not, um... Not thrilled. Not thrilled about that. Where did I get this ship? Hello? Why don't you go over here, I guess? Uh, we did inherit a new army. Let's go ahead and detach the mercenaries. I need to get them somewhere and get disband them. Slavery is being abolished because the Spanish were not nearly as enlightened as I am. Okay, let's see. Split, split, split. Go here, here, and here. Create some larger stacks. More slavery abolished. Mongolia is currently being sieged down. Good go here. And they do have, wow, Oirat Manchuria. Way larger than I expected. Hey Ming, if you want to join up your lands, now's the time, man. I'm just saying. Not that I necessarily am encouraging it. Okay, don't misinterpret me. I'm just saying. That's what I would do if I were you. Kabu Separatists. Okay, but we already have troops on the way. Unrest is looking better. Go here for now. We're getting low on time, aren't we? Yeah. Okay, group up. Group up. Yeah, we need to get some transports. Where are you? You are slow. Slow transports. Ivory! Nice. Okay, my consort's dead. I have a naive enthusiast for an heir. That's unfortunate. My heir is nowhere near as good, I'm afraid. 
254. Good on the Diplo. It'll be nice when I have to work through uh, colonial ideas, but... Or exploration ideas. Whatever. You know what I mean. Okay. Killing them. Uh, good. Good. More separatists. Okay. You go put them down. Wake animists. Okay. We can finish getting rid of them. What are you doing here? Go over here. Right? That's where I want you? Yes. We have some pretty large stacks over here. We should be moving up toward 40 stacks at this point in the game. Absolutely. You go here. We'll be able to finish them off. Malwa. Uh, okay, we're going to leave behind a couple infantry and cavalry. We are going to embark. 35 is the best I can do at the moment, but that's when I don't get the general. I don't like that it doesn't prioritize the general. I'm sorry, but that's just, that's important. Okay, 35, right? Behind a couple cannons. More infantry. That should be fine. Select. It's 29. Uh, I miscalculated. Whatever, it's fine. Go over here. We're going to siege down Pasai. And hopefully it turns out they don't have a ton of troops just sitting here waiting for me. This could be a good opportunity for me to finish off some islands, take some more colonies, and possibly establish myself a little bit in Indonesia. Would not be opposed. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If so, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.